Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials, my name is Alice, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the precedence diagram method. The precedence diagram method, or what I call a PDM, is a visual representation technique that depicts the activities involved in a project. It is a method of constructing a project schedule network diagram that uses boxes and nodes to represent activities and connects them with arrows that show the dependencies. What is the purpose of the precedence diagram method? The Program Evaluation and Review Technique PERT, and Critical Path Method CPM, techniques are essentially limited to finish-start relationships. Basically Activity B cannot start until Activity A is completed. PDM was developed subsequent to the PERT and CPM techniques and its function is to permit a more accurate depiction of relationships among various activities. What are the benefits of the precedence diagram method? There is a lot of benefits that can be obtained by using the PDM. These are, highlights relationships and dependencies among activities to ensure planning efficiency. Identifies possible missing activities. Helps identify critical activities to ensure better planning. Helps develop the overall project schedule. And finally, good communication tool for project team members. How is the precedence diagram method, PDM, depicted? The precedence diagram is depicted by a chart with nodes and their relationships. An arrow connects two nodes to represent an active relationship. It's also called a nodal diagram or network diagram. The precedence diagram method has four ways for developing the diagram. These ways are, finish to start, in this dependency, an activity cannot start before a previous activity has ended. This is the most commonly used dependency. Start to start, in this dependency, there is a defined relationship between the start of activities. Finish to finish, in this dependency, there is a defined relationship between the end dates of activities. And finally, start to finish, in this dependency, there is a defined relationship between the start of one activity and the end date of a successor activity. This dependency is rarely used. There are four steps associated to developing a precedence diagram method. Step 1. Break your work breakdown structure, WBS, into activity levels. Step 2. List all activities and their sequences in a table. Step 3. Add relationships and dependencies to each activity in the table. And finally, Step 4. Draw the diagram. The precedence diagram method has dependency levels which are Mandatory dependency, known as hard logic, is an integral part of the work. Example, activity A must be completed before activity B can start. Discretionary dependency, preferential or soft logic. Example, dependency is controlled by the project team and can be changed. External dependency, comes from outside of the project. Example, laws and regulations are waiting for government funding to begin the project. And finally, internal dependency, involves a precedence relationship between project activities. An example is, can't start until the previous internal project is completed. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the precedence diagram method. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.